The first feature that is new to the platform for the R1 release is the new support for OpenID Connect. Mobile phone users will especially appreciate this feature. Acumatica continues to employ industry standards, especially as it concerns integration, authentication, and authorization. OpenID Connect adds to an already rich set of authentication and authorization capabilities, namely native credential management, the integration with Active Directory, Google or Microsoft for single sign-on, and OAuth 2.0. While these existing features meet most of our customers' needs to manage user credentials and roles today, the introduction and adoption of OpenID Connect over the last couple of years and the mobility of employees has generated demand for this new feature. As I'm sure you've already heard, Acumatica listens to the feedback from our partners and customers, and this is a great example. OpenID Connect enables users to reduce the number of credentials needed to conduct their day-to-day -day activities. OpenID Connect enables a centralization of not only user credentials, but the authorization the user has for each system they need to access. Let's take a look at the new configuration screen briefly in the new R1 release. The new OpenID Connect feature in 2021 R1 is found in the integration workspace. Here under Preferences, you'll find a new menu item, OpenID Providers. Since this is the first provider we are configuring, we'll need to go to Authentication Settings to provide configuration information. Here on the left, you see listed all of the necessary configuration items you'll need to successfully configure the provider. Each of these is explained in our help facility and or documentation. In addition, you'll find a great deal of information about each of these configuration items on the internet. Once you have successfully configured your provider, your users will now be able to use third-party credentials that gives them access not only to Acumatica ERP, but to other systems within the organization. The next feature that is new to the platform for the R1 release are enhancements to the already powerful universal search capability that our customers love. What's new are refinements at the data access control layer of the platform so that the search engine now returns search results for entities such as generic inquiries, pivot tables, business events, dashboards, filters, report definitions including column sets, row sets, and unit sets, email accounts, notifications, users, and customization projects. In addition, the recently viewed feature has been enhanced to categorize the search results as well. Let's take a quick look now at the new search enhancements in 2021 R1. Up in the search box, I'm going to type the word sales. In the search results, you can see now that I've got a couple of generic inquiries listed. Let's type the word order. Again, in the search results, I've got a couple of generic inquiries listed. Let's type the word lead. In this case, I've got a pivot table listed in my search results. And all the other entities that I mentioned earlier are available now with our the new universal search enhancements in 2021 R1, making it even more powerful than ever. A few releases ago, Acumatica introduced user-defined fields, or UDFs. This no-code capability enabled non-developers to add new fields to screens as they required. The R1 release introduces the new feature of setting default values for user-defined fields. So now if a field is required, a default value can be assigned ahead of time, eliminating the need of having to set the value. Let's take a quick look at this new feature. Here I have a sales order open in 2021 R1. On this form, you can also see that I've got a user defined fields tab already created because I had earlier created a user defined field called contract type. I also assign that user defined field a default value of sales, which is new to 2021 R1. To manage that default value, I would go to customization, manage user defined fields, and on that screen, go to the properties tab where I see that I can sign the default value to contra type or change it to something else. This just makes user defined fields in 2021 R1 even more powerful than ever before. 2021 R1 now enables customers to create customization projects for the self service portal. This capability uses the same customization process and tools already available in Acumatica ERP. Let's take a look. Here we are in the self service portal of 2021 R1. Let's see what it takes to customize a screen in the self-service portal. First, we'll go to the administration workspace. There we'll find a very familiar menu item, customization projects. If you're already an Acumatica ERP customizer, you already possess all the knowledge and skill 
necessary to customize or create new pages in the self-service portal. As you can see here, the customization project editor is identical to that which you would find in Acumatica ERP. We've already started a page customization here. Let's take a look. As you can see, if you're already familiar with the customization and project editor in Acumatica ERP, there's no difference here in the self-service portal. With the ability to customize screens or create new ones now in the self-service portal of 2021 R1, you'll be able to now tailor the experiences you would like to provide for your vendors and customers. We've also introduced some other technology improvements that will continue to help make your Acumatic experience better. Smart dialog panels on mobile, modern authentication for Exchange email, and space management for deleted files are all things which I'll demonstrate for you briefly. Maintaining functionality on the mobile device to match what's available in the UI is important. Prior to 21R1, we've recently given you the ability to implement simple dialog boxes, such as the one shown here, some text with a simple answer to a question. But suppose you wanted to have an order form or a display list, such as adding an item to this uh, sales order. That is now possible in 21R1. It's not automatically supported, but using the mobile toolkit, you can easily add them to our mobile device. Microsoft is moving to more and more advanced authentication requirements. So when you move to more recent versions of our software, you'll see that Azure Modern Authentication is now supported on the system email accounts. Setting up one of these is uh, described here on this community page. Lastly, I wanted to talk about how to manage space effectively. So let's go into this bill and I'm going to drag a PDF document into it and it becomes attached to my file. Now I can go in and search for files and find my file. Now previously I could go back to this item and delete this record. Now that I've deleted that bill, the record's gone. So that way it will help you minimize the amount of storage for things that are, would normally might be orphaned.